a few main ideas in Utopia. The first is property and wealth. When an individual becomes a member of a Catholic religious community, they take a vow of poverty and give up worldly possessions. Thomas More was a man of complex views concerning the ethics of ownership, who grew up apprentice to a bishop, but later became a wealthy chancellor. Raphael Hithloday debates the proper punishment for a thief that, at the time, was often death, arguing that it's unjust because it does nothing to stop others from stealing, nor does it teach the thief to understand why stealing is wrong or how to live without robbing others. Killing is against God's will, so the state carrying out executions is against God, and that's just wrong. Raphael explains that the idea of shared communal property makes theft unnecessary and questions what would happen if things like money or precious metals cease to have value of their own. The idea of a society in which property is shared led, in part, to some of the most important social experiments in human history. The 20th century revolutions in China and Russia, built on ideas espoused by Karl Marx and other like-minded thinkers, first proposed in Utopia. Another main idea is that of the perfect place. Thomas More coined the now ubiquitous term utopia, which came to mean the perfect place. But is it really that perfect? Utopians are deprived of the ability to act independently by placing them under constant observation. No one can choose idleness, and the threat of enslavement is everywhere. Still, through its perfect society lens, Utopia raises a number of important critical questions about what is best for human beings. Are human beings better and happier when they're provided with all they need, or when they're forced to struggle against obstacles to achieve their goals? Is it better for societies to choose their own leaders and represent themselves? Or are they to be led by a single individual or group with a particular vision for that society? Is there glory in fighting or winning wars, or in preventing national death by any means necessary? Crime and punishment is another main idea addressed many times and in different ways throughout Utopia. Raphael Hithloday describes consequences for theft that don't involve executing a criminal for a crime less heinous than murder, arguing that won't convince other potential criminals that the crime isn't worth committing. The laws of Utopia rarely involve the death penalty, yet Utopian laws are quite harsh. Some actions that wouldn't be considered crimes elsewhere are punishable by enslavement in Utopia. Work and industry are highly valued in Utopia, so a man can be enslaved for the crime of wandering the countryside without working or without permission. 